fall. It's such a beautiful time of year. We love fall. We also, of course, love our adoption ever after stories. And here with another heartwarming happy tale is our pet rescue expert, Larissa. Yeah, oh, this Larissa. is a sweet one, Larissa. Fall, we're in fall, it's time to fall in love with an animal. Yeah. And now, we have helped 665 oh my find fall. The number oh, keeps going up. Very, very exciting. Wow. Very That's exciting. That's awesome, yeah, thank you, yeah, Larissa. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. And one of those is okay. very special to me. Her name was Ellie, you may remember her. I love she Ellie. She was a little long-haired dachshund baby, and <laughs> she was posted on social media, and I saw the picture, this was her, oh, and she was hidden in the back of the shelter. She'd been there for months. Oh. She had eyesight problems. They thought she was a senior and they okay. nobody was seeing her. So this wonderful lady posted that picture. Mm -hmm. I stepped in and said, that, that dog needs to be in my house. So I went and picked her up and brought her to my house. She kind of learned to live with my dogs, learned to be a dog, you know, and right. live in a, in right. a home environment, yeah. which she settled in very well, as you can see right there. It didn't yeah. take her she long. She looks pretty comfy. She got very <laughs> comfy. And then she came here a couple times. We actually showed her on Home and Family twice. Um, she got her eye surgery, the wonderful rescue, Dachshund and Friends Rescue, paid for her eye to be fixed so she Great. could see again, and yet still no home. Oh. Except that at that point, you, you were, were going to take her. Yeah, you were about to take her yourself. So one of our producers saw Ellie, and Dachshunds and Friends Rescue was set yeah. up at an adoption event, and Ellie was still there, and she sent me a picture. Look who I saw. I reached oh, out gosh. to Cheryl at the rescue, and I said, look, Ellie's too good. I'll take her at this point. It's been too long. Right. She said, well, you're in luck. You don't have to take her because of a wonderful woman named Audrey, oh. who lives in Canada, saw her clip on, of your, on your show right. of Ellie and is actually coming to L.A. to meet her and pick her up, and I got to go be oh, part of this meet I love and it, it was amazing I it. and I took a lot of video and why don't you just take a look. Today is a very special day for Ellie because after a year of being in rescue, she's finally finding her adoption ever after home. Oh, it feels wonderful but also I've shed some tears because Ellie is so good and she loves me so much. Thank you for kisses. It's exciting, but also, ooh, I don't know what to think. And I think this is her. Hi! Surprise! Oh my goodness! Are you Ellie? Good girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so it. sweet. It's really love cool it. to be there. Story a lot of people so don't get to sweet. see that I, moment. I know. No, it's, and it's really neat. Me. It's yes. great to get that inside. Yes. Well, joining us now from Surrey, British yes. Columbia, is Ellie's angel, Audrey Sorensen. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Welcome. Hey, Audrey. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Look at Ellie. Oh, she looks like Ellie. she's really, she feels very comfortable in your oh, arms, Audrey. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> she is. She's a snuggler. She's such a good one. What was it about Audrey, uh, or Ellie? You saw Ellie. You saw a clip of Ellie on our show. What was it about her that just really stood out for you? I did. She just, in, your, in the clip, it was, she just wanted to go. Just, yeah. just jump and go. Go happy be just so incredibly happy. And so I thought, you know, I had uh, other other senior girls from the U.S. And why not? Los Angeles making a nice little holiday. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, L.A. is not such a bad place to visit, right? I mean, but it, it took it took You came a while. to L.A. for L.E. For yeah. L.A. <laughs> That's right. It, it took a little bit of time to coordinate the meeting, from what I understand. And then once you met L.A. and you guys fell in love, like you say, you had a 22-hour drive back. How was that drive home? Well, we cheated a bit. We did take um, three overnights, uh, one in Reno and two in Portland. And I'm lucky enough to have um, friends that who are retired. And so we, uh, we made a nice little holiday trip out of it and stopped everywhere and took photos. Aww. So, yeah. No, we had a good time. A you girl's know? trip. Kind of like a, <laughs> did you get a convertible? Kind of like a Thelma <laughs> yeah. Louise? But you know what's so amazing the happy ending. about yes. this story is that anyone could do it. If Audrey could get out here from right. L.A., you oh, know, there's something Canada. to be said from the minute you see a dog, mm -hmm. you know that's your yeah. dog. And I know you have Tootsie, another female senior dog. How are they getting along? 
they're good. Um, Ellie was a little bit surprised after three days when we picked up Tootsie um, from where she was. A little surprised that there's another, and she's actually going to come home with us. Like, oh, so yeah, she. Uh, but they're good. They're good together, and she's doing um, well. She can see and everything. Yeah. Yes, she can uh, see through her right eye. Her left, uh, of course, we still do the yeah. drops uh, okay. twice a day. Good. So, but she's good with them. She's fine. Very calm now. She knows that it's part of the routine, <laughs> just like breakfast. So, <laughs> Look at her. Audrey, what would you say to people out there that may be thinking about uh, rescuing? What advice would you give people? Understand your needs very clearly. Um, and what you can and cannot do. Okay. Um, I adopt seniors because I do work a full-time job and I'm a single Good. person. So I know that senior dogs work very well for me. Um, and I make sure that um, their needs are taken care of, like they have access to water and uh, oh, what is here? And also to potty pads and sure. you know they can sleep. Um, they're not as active. We do a morning walk, so I changed my routine a bit, and I have an, I can um, work in the evening. So during the day, we'll go for our walks right. with friends. You um, know, Audrey, you have such a calming demeanor. Yes. I mean, <laughs> we, I'd like for you to adopt me. Really. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling soothed just I know, watching I feel you. So, right now. I feel like I'm at a spa just listening to you speak. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Audrey. And I know, Larissa, for you, this is a full circle. This moment. is a full circle. You know, we always say it takes a village. Yeah. This proves if I hadn't seen the post on Facebook, had found a home for my current foster, had Audrey step in, Cheryl Stone with Dachshund and Friends yeah. Rescue, I mean, it takes a village, but every dog has a perfect home and they're out there. Thank you, Audrey, for yes. giving that to Ellie. I can't, I can't send my gratitude enough. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you at uh, Home and Family for featuring them and uh, being able to put it on their posts so that they do have more exposure to uh, especially the senior ones, okay. that it is worthwhile to foster them. It's worthwhile to even go and rescue them. Um, because they are going to be loved. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Audrey. you, Audrey. Thank you. And I gotta say also, thank you, Larissa, for oh, all the great you. work that you Seriously. continue. Seriously. No, really. I for mean, it's silly because we see each other I every day, it. but it's so fantastic. Of course, the patron saint of pets. <laughs> thank That's you. right. I love it.